Today's show is called Rumor Space. Here I discuss the latest rumors and latest news in the tech world. I hear from different tech reviewers and different websites and try and talk to you what my view is on the article. Thank you and let's start the discussion. Hey, it's me again from Ironwrap Tech. Before I get into what I'm going to be talking about today, Google Chrome and more iPhone 5 related news and rumors, I'm going to just tell you right now straight forward that I'm not going to show you any features or web pages. I'm just going to be talking to you about what I've been reading about in the web and what I've heard from outside. Okay, so now that I've had that cleared out, let's Google start. Google Chrome is a great web browser and has a great experience. I'm using it right now and I found it to be much faster than Safari. One, however, complaint is that it is not supported for OS X 7 Lion. And that's a big complaint because why did you download Lion if you can't use full screen and tap to zoom and pinch to zoom features in your browser? So I've heard that they're coming out with a new version later on this month to fix that problem. But I downloaded this new Google Chrome browser and there are some new features in this version that I want to discuss. One is it has a web app store. So for example you could download Angry Birds, you can download different web applications. The Chrome Web Store has now made it possible to add apps right on your Chrome home page. You can access these apps from your laptop, your desktop, or even your phone, anywhere when it has a browser. I just downloaded Kindle Cloud, which is an Amazon app on the marketplace which Chrome supports. I will try that out and get back to you in my next video. But I can see this being a great success to Google and it may even beat out the Mac App Store. We'll just have to wait out and see. Second of all, Google Chrome offers translation. For example, if you have to translate a word from Spanish to English, French to English, English to Spanish, German to Swedish, I don't know, I just came up with that. Um, then you can just go to the Google Translator in Chrome. It's already built in in your bar and you just click that button and it translates any text on your web page so seamlessly and it's integrated very well into the web browser. Those are the two new features I have seen in the new Google Chrome browser. Now let's get on to the iPhone rumors and news. I just read a latest article that was updated today, August 10th, and the Verizon CFO announced that he was expecting the iPhone 5 to release earlier than October. If you've been watching and seeing other tech reviewers channels, they're saying that it will release October most likely because that's when the iOS 5 re will release to everyone. Right now only developers and some people with UDID registration can access iOS 5 beta. iPhone 5 is going to support an eight, ha have a 8 megapixel camera 
and the new A5 chip that is in the iPad 2. The new processor will probably make it twice as fast as the old iPhone 4 and may have a slightly bigger screen than the oldest gen old generation iPhone 4 when the iPhone 5 releases. I'm still not sure if it's going to release in September or October, but from these latest ar late articles, Verizon and AT&T are marking the date. They are making all of their employees mark their calendars right now for the release date. As I told you, Verizon ha was still surprised and we will just have to find out when the iPhone 5 is announced by Apple. That was my latest tech news and every week I'm going to have more news on rumor space. So stay tuned, subscribe up there. Yeah. Hit the like button, comment down there, of course. Any questions, anything, any concerns. And yeah, see ya. That's all for iTech, iUnwrap Tech. Bye.